so I wanted to do a video where I talked about a few more personal things. Oh, there's my light. Okay. And the first thing I wanted to talk about was my in-styler. I like straightening my hair. I have naturally really, really curly hair. I do have an in-styler and I love it. It really, really straightens my hair and it makes it so that my hair has body longer. But today, when I was using my in-styler, it caught the chain of my necklace, but it caught like this little part where the clasp is, and it caught, it, like, got my neck. Can you see that like big red thing? If I turn more towards camera, you see it? It looks like a hickey, it's not. And all day at work, people were like, oh, you have a hickey blah 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 <laughs> like making stupid jokes at my boyfriend's expense but no the little rotating super hot part caught my necklace and it was like and it fried my neck so if you use an insider and styler hair take off all jewelry i always sleep and wear some sort of New Orleans themed necklace. I have a water meter, a Florida de Lee, of course. I also have my Louisiana oil spill necklace, my red bean, and my streetcar. So at some point I am, oh, like my sweater. Nick got it for me, it's my Saints hoodie. But at some point I always have a necklace on. So now when I straighten my hair, I'm going to have to be very, very sure that I don't have a necklace on. Because it really, really hurts. Charlie, my in-style bit me and it really, really hurt and it's still hurting. Actually, it is still really hurting. Quite bad. Okay, I need to stop with the accent. Also, I usually talk about beauty products and things, but I did want to mention this book that I am completely obsessed with. It's called Pretty Little Mistakes. Whoa, my whole entire thing just fell. Go back, fix, there we go. It's called Pretty Little Mistakes, and it's a thick book, but it's a choose your own adventure novel. And if you remember, like, the Choose Your Own Adventure novels when we were kids, like, if you climb up a tree, go to page 10. If you decide to jump in the river, go to page 20. Well, this is a Choose Your Own Adventure novel, but for adult women. And when I say adult women, there are some very adult scenarios. There's one, like, if you choose to have an abortion, go to this page. If you choose to have sex with this guy, go to that page. And I love it. I am really busy, and I'm always doing things with people. I'm a lot of times shopping with friends, going out with my boyfriend. So, let me move that. It's going to fall. There we go. I fixed it. So I don't have time and these are little stories and you have an entire life and a death and I really like that and sometimes it can take 10 minutes to just do one little life and sometimes it can take like 20 minutes at most if you're a really slow reader and the book begins at your very very last day of high school and it says if you choose to go to college go to one page if you choose to travel go to another and your whole adventure starts like that and I've been reading through this book for way over a year now and it just never ends there are all these lives and you can go through if you marry Tom go to this section if you don't marry Tom if you take the blockbuster film if you don't go to this, take this blockbuster film blah 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 and all the deaths are really cool some are really really bad and some are really fun there's one where you would die on a boat and you're 87 and you're holding flowers and your husband tells you that your eyes look like lilacs and you're just like oh what a perfect way to die and you're like in Romania or something like traveling on a cruise for your death it's amazing and the book is by Heather McElahatton, M-C-E-L-A-H-A-T-T-O-N. 
I think that's how you pronounce it, but I absolutely love this book. And she also has just come out with a companion book, and it's called A Million Little Mistakes. And see, this is what I do. I have, like, napkins, and I read my Cosmo every month very religiously. I've read Cosmo every month since I was 12. And I take the little, like, buy Cosmo free issue things, and I use them as bookmarks. Definitely have a million little bookmarks however you do it. See, I have these all in here, and then napkins, and I mark it because it's a do-over novel. If you think that one life left you really, really bad because you made this choice, you can go back and go to the other choice and see what happens. Oh my gosh, I'm yelling. I'm so tired. I worked really hard today. So you can do something else and have another life. These are seriously the most fun books I've ever read. And it's small enough and not that heavy that you can just throw it in your purse and take it to the doctor's office and read through it. They're so, so much fun. And on another note, I'm just going to go to random topics and sort of just talk because that's what I wanted to do. I'm so excited for Rocky Horror Glee Show. No lie. I know that John Stamos was in Bye Bye Birdie. I didn't like him in that. Oh my gosh, stop yawning. I need to stop working so hard. I'm so tired. My makeup's just gonna start running. And I saw a video of him on YouTube doing cabaret and he was the MC. I thought he was really good at that. He has a really good voice. So I'm very excited. I was disappointed with the Britney Spears, Britney S. Pierce episode I think it didn't have a plot and that's what I'm worried about that they're losing the plot and Ryan Murphy's like oh I'm just gonna design an entire episode around this one song please stop doing that Ryan Murphy what are you doing you're brilliant you have great plot ideas just have them sing good songs and have a good because I want the plot to move along and has Puck been kicked off of Glee? I know, like, in real life, there was some issue between Puck and Santana and her egging his car because they were dating for realsies. But I like him, and I like that he sings only Jew songs. And uh, I want them to do more theater stuff. They did sing in the last one, which I thought was hurried. But good job doing theater stuff. And La Jazz Hot, good job to Kirk. And... Yeah, I probably should go to bed. I'm, like, so tired. And I'm just rambling. And I'm making a video about books and crazy things. And this is a beauty channel. I don't know. I just wanted to talk. And stylish of the devil. That's all I have to say. Oh, there's my mommy. You can probably see her in the mirror. Hi, Mom. Come say hi to YouTube. Two minutes, two. We gotta watch. We have one minute. Oh, crap. Mad Men comes on. Bye.